is the day. This is the day. In the presence of the Lord, not only in the present, but a special day like this. Hallelujah. If you agree with me, let's please be on our feet. Of the Father, we are joined hands with the Lord. What are you?
the long awaited bride is in and so we are set to upon the life of your people we thank you lord and we bless your name father so my seven up rejoice with them hallelujah we are here to rejoice them and before then i want to salute all the men of god presence god richard bless you for coming our pastor and i'll read some one or two verses two two verse 15 coming that the lord god took the man and put him in the garden of eden to tend and to keep it hallelujah when god has made everything the bible says he gave man charge over what he has created that he must dress it and keep it that means whatever you do is for your own keeping whatever assignment whatever work you do whether you do it good whether you do it bad it is for yourself amen, amen. so god said that you should dress it and keep it and the bible says and the Lord commanded man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of, of the tree of the night of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die. And God said, It is not good that man should be alone. Hallelujah. Amen. After God has given man the assignment, Hallelujah, and created everything in its pets. Everything has a pet. Or everything has a mate. So when God has given you man and Sam and he saw that man cannot accomplish this, this task alone. Hallelujah. Amen. That means as a man, God has given you a special assignment on this earth. Amen. Amen. As a head of a family, God has called you as a as a check, as a protect the whole world. If there's no woman at your side, you are lacking. You are not complete. Amen. I say you are not what? Complete. It takes a woman to make a man whole. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So I believe that by the time this message is over, marriage is just an is be alone. And the Bible says, Mr. Refer, let me call to 20. So Adam gave them to all cattle to the best of the earth. God gave authority to do some certain things. But up the flesh in a place that the way the Lord had taken from man he made into a woman and he brought her to the man and Adam said this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh and she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man Amen. 24 that a man shall leave his father and mother and he will run leave and go and search for a woman or cleave to a woman Amen. and they shall become one flesh Amen. that means of all things Amen. the bible says he who finds a wife he finds a good thing and will have favor from god that means listen to me carefully when you find a wife it's not imprisonment yeah. Amen. Amen. and they will write at the back just marry but this guy he had his own and at the back just divorce <laughs> better than one because they have a good reward for their labor hallelujah Amen. if one just fall down the other one will what lift him up is it not so and how can two keep one together is it not so to help him Again, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. Hallelujah. You come because of marriage, you will search it on your own and you will receive your own. And when you go home, and then you see whether you have a sheep or you have a lion. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So my advice to you, the let God be the third call. Amen. And when God is in it, even when challenges come, you will surely overcome. Amen.
Again, if you live to see this color of this day, the sun that is shining, the air that is growing, and every good thing and perfect thing that you have done for us, then we have every reason to thank you once again. I thank you for such a wonderful people gathering here today. I thank you for this wonderful young couples. You have said. In the last days, my Lord, you will make us like unmovable rock. And anybody that try to move us shall end up hurting themselves. Yes. May you grant us us and root us yes. as the service proceeds. Yes, so that at the end of this service, we shall have something to say thank you. We bless you, bless you for all that we have done for us yes. and about to do. In Jesus' precious mighty name. That I have seen something, it surprises me a lot. If you send your car to a fitting shop, maybe the car is, let me say, a VW. The mechanic will take something from the car, maybe the shock absorbers, and he will bring out beyond shock absorbers and say, No problem, it shall fit all right. No problem. No problem. No problem. VW shock absorber, but he will bring out beyond. Shock absorber, and they say no problem, it shall fit. So within a couple of days, you continue having problems. Amen and amen. amen. But today we are witnessing a perfect match. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For that reason, we will take this opportunity. The father or the representative wants to ask a question for you. Is the marital rights back home in Ghana or here? Is being as they said. It's every marital right is being performed. I just want to hear something from you. Yes. Okay. You may speak today. I have one question that I'm going to ask we all. Maybe somebody has something to say. If maybe somebody here know something about Eric. Nowadays, before you bless a wedding, you need to be very, very, very careful. Because sometimes, something is going wrong somewhere. Maybe he have uh, another wedding somewhere. He have married before. A wife is waiting somewhere. Seeing this beautiful young lady. And you want to take him as uh, a wife here in Europe. If you know something like that, please. This is the only question that I'm asking you. If you know something like that, please just say it before we proceed. Maybe some question. Maybe I'm a kind of rough, you know. And then we are saying, maybe I'm going to say, what you want to say, and we are afraid of. And we are going to say, baby. Okay. The same thing applies to Judith. Yeah. If you know something about her, please can you see it so that we stop the whole thing? I think there's nothing like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Then, my covenant partners, pastors, have been commissioned to go ahead to do the, the blessing. Today, is, it will be done in a very different way. Maybe you have been witnessing wedding ceremony, but I'm going to do it today in a little bit different way. But at the end of the day, we shall end up in the same point. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. First and foremost, I want you both of you.
Eric, be in this direction for me. Before I proceed, I said earlier, I want to do it in a different direction altogether. I want to see your wedding rings. Who have the wedding rings? Wow. Can you be with me? I just want you to pray them and bless this way they rinse. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. This is your will for us to be together. Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Bringing this ring before you, Lord. We sanctify it with the blood of Jesus. We sanctify it with the blood of Jesus. Amen. My God, our King, we sanctify this ring with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Even as it enter the hands, oh Lord. Let your glory go with it in Jesus' name. And yes. any eye, any ear, that will... Christ, please, try to make a way so that the, the people can see. Eric, are you sure this is good? It? Just be sure, so just unveil uh, this thing that I can see, right? Only that, do the whole thing. I just want to see her face well. Very good. Do it. I say today I'm doing it a different. Wonderful. How you feel? Amen. <laughs> what a beautiful lady. Beautiful. Did it. Eric Lee. Okay. Then I'm going to say something. Then at the end of it, if you understand and believe and accept what I'm going to say. Just, just say yes, I do. May the Lord help me after that. Okay? okay. People of God, a moment has arrived. But before then, both of you, we have been many things to each other. Friends, companions, teachers, because you've learned many things from each other. Now you are going to say some few ways that will take you across a threshold of life in all your days ahead. Eric, I'm coming to you. There are certain things that you can do in this journey that you are going to take today that will help you to enjoy life together with your wife. The way you care for each other and the genuine life we share. You are devotion as a family. What is the greatest beauty of love? So Eric, do you promise to cherish every aspect of your life together? Promise to nature your friendship, means of transparency, respect, love and support. That blossom from it. Operate sharing everything in common. Do you promise those things as heaven and earth as our witness? And do you take Judith as we are wedded wife as long as life is concerned? If you agree. Say, agree. May the Lord helps me. I agree. May the Lord helps me. Woo! Amen. Woo! Now you can take the ring. Say, I'm doing to be in a different way or together. Yes. Wedding
wedding ring symbolize the unbroken circle of a marriage, it is where on the third finger. Because the ancient Greeks believed that the face in the third finger is connected to the heart. I will explain it once again. And everybody hear me and hear me very well. The ancient Greeks, they believe, and it is true, scientifically proving that there is a vein from here, this third ring, that is connected to the heart. So in this case, the ring that you are going to repeat the second things after me, you are going to unlock your heart together with the heart. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Eric, you may say this after me. With this ring, with this ring, I give you today, I give you today, as a symbol of my commitment to you, as a symbol of my commitment to you, as I marry you today, as I marry you today, in presence of God, in the presence of God, and His holy angels, and His holy angels, and this, and this great congregation, and this great congregation, I place you in my heart, I place you in my heart, from this day forward, from this day forward, as my wedded wife, as my wedded wife, for better and for worse, for better and for worse, in richer and in poorer, in richer and poorer, in sicknesses and of good health, in sicknesses and of, and joy and in sorrows, in joy and in all the days of my life, in all the days of my life, may my life and commitment for you, may my life and commitment for you be steadfast. Steadfast. Because of the position of this ring. Because of the position of this ring. So, so may the Lord help me. So may the Lord help me. Okay, now just take the finger and put the ring on the finger. Before then, you have been so many things to each other. You have been as a friend. You have been as a companion. You have been as teachers because we've learned many, many, many things from each other. This is the moment that the words that you are going to repeat after me with your husband, the way we care for each other, and the genuine love we share, your devotion as family, which is the greatest beauty of love. So Judith, do you promise to cherish every aspect of your life together? Promise to nature, your friendship, means of transparency, respect, and support. The love that blossoms from it. Openly share everything in common. Do you promise those things as heaven and earth our witnesses? And do you take Eric as your wedded husband as long as life is concerned? And if you agree, say I do. May the Lord help me. I do. May the Lord help me. Amen. 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 Clap for the Lord once again. Now, you understand the meaning that, or the reason why we put rings on the third finger. I said something, there's a special vein here, connected to the heart. So we are going to touch his heart right now. 
Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you take the ring? With this ring, with this ring, I give you today. I give you today as a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. As I marry you today. As I marry you today. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And His holy angels. And His holy angels. And with this great congregation. And with this great congregation. I place you in my heart. I place you in my heart. From this day forward. As my wedded husband, as my wedded husband, for better and for worse, for better and for worse, in richer and in poorer, in richer and in, poorer, in sickness and of good health, in sickness and of good health, in joy and of sorrows, in joy of sorrows, all the days ahead, all the days ahead, may my love and commitment for you, may my love and commitment for you, be steadfast, be steadfast, because of the position, because of the position of this ring, of this ring, so may the Lord help me. May the Lord help you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together once again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. We are almost there. We are almost there. So what we are going to do is the moment. We are going to do first. We are coming against anything contrary to this marriage. Anything that has been orchestrated from the peak of hell against their life, against their future life. We are going to pray and cancel every devices of the enemy against them in the name of the Father and of Son and of the Holy Spirit. Can you open your mouth and pray for them and come against anything that is not controlling against them in the name of Jesus? Masha Katoro Baba, Maka Paro Pasika Sakataya Mama, Nekuro Mama Shika Saya, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Shara Baba Baba, Maka Paro Pasika Saya, Shebleke Chere Baba Baka Faya, Yema Shire Baba Toro Baba, Shaka Saya. Salam moment now. 
as heaven is going to open the caboose. Thank you, O oh God. Bless you, Father. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we thank you, my God, for this day, for the gift of life and the gift of such a beauty atmosphere. We bless you, my God, for your presence. For the Bible says, well, two or three will gather in your name. You are there. When we bow down and say, Father, we thank you for your presence. Yes. Do what you will. Amen. Papa, you have said in your word, and you have come to understand, that it is you yourself that prepared marriage. And you have said in your word, after preparing it, anyone that wants to break it, break it on his own risk. Amen. Because of such, we stand God upon your own way and come against every spirit, every mouth, everything that has made up his mind to go against this marriage. Father, I call heaven against them in the name of Jesus. For everywhere their names have been mentioned, and every altar that have laid their name on. I call Heavenly Father to burn it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Papa, any written code that is written against them, with your blood, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. My daughter and my son, this is what the Lord has said. And because of that, any evil eye that look at you, any evil tongue that think against you, in the life, anything, I come against in Jesus' name. Amen. You stand in a double row. Now I bring every curse from your mother's side Amen. and your father's side. Amen. Every curse from your mother's side Amen. and your father's side. Amen. I push them together and I break them in Jesus' name. Yes. That it doesn't matter what they've said concerning your life, it will not stand. Yes. Lord, we are going to be praised at the mercies of the Lord. We are going to the blessing, the prosperity, and the success of God. We are going for the establishment of the Lord. We are going for all the graces and the mercies in marriage. And all the brother are connected to marriage. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Receive a special touch of His glory in the name of Jesus. Of this glory. into this marriage and we are saying this marriage will never fail we are prophesied success we are prophesied goodness we are prophesied blessings and we declare in the name of Jesus that what the Lord has put together today let nothing put asunder in the name of Jesus. Amen. We summon any spirit. We summon any demon. We summon any power. We summon any authority. We summon any gathering of the family, both family, 
eat and we meet together and declare that the creation is nullified in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, oh God, Amen. that from today Amen. there will be fullness of your glory Amen. and I fill their footsteps with the grace. You will step into success. Amen. You will step into prosperity. Amen. You will step into the great that will help you. Amen. In the name of the Father, the of, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Wonderful. And Judith, your name is written here. That means this is for you. Eric. Oh, this is for you. Okay, we are going to do something from then. We just proceed and we are from here. Um this is not for you, it's written Almighty God. Okay. And we we believe that you have I mean commit this relationship into the hands of God as we've been steady for a long time ago and according to the prayer that we've been uttered. So, this is Almighty God and everything about you is here. Hallelujah. Amen. So, what I'm going to do, can you pour this one inside here? That tells me that everything about you you give to God. Practically. I just want to be in a practical way. Hallelujah. Amen. Just do that. Amen. Amen. Put it inside. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen. Just give to me. Oh, okay. What should you have? What you have? Unit, put it here for me. Put it here. Wonderful. Oh. See what the man of God is doing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Most of you know exactly what I'm doing, but most of you don't. So We, or we believe that the water and that lemonade or whatever is here. I'm not doing any magical way. So, Judith and Eric, they are combining their lifestyle together and they are giving it into the Almighty God. Hallelujah. So, they are, their life is now in the hands of Almighty God. Yes. They have committed everything they have into the hands of Almighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And if we commit our life into Almighty God, who can take it away from there? Nobody. Nobody. Oh, we believe that? Yes. Now, I, I want to challenge you that somebody can take it from the hands of God uh -huh. right now here. Yes, I want to prove to you. So, Eric, first, you are lemonade or whatever it is. Everybody saw it inside it. I just want you to pour that one inside uh, your, your bottle. Just pour only that one for me. Oh, just somebody give 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 him mark so that maybe he says something I can understand. What you say? I'm asking the question again, Eric. We we saw you in the beginning. You pour something here. You get you into the hands of Almighty God. You believe that. So, with your own strength and your, your own intelligence, whatever the situation you call yourself, I don't know. Pour you are, the, the red thing that you put here, just pour it back into, into that bottle, then we are, we are from here. And I said, it's not possible. Amen. It's not possible? Yeah. Okay. Or oh, maybe your, your papa can do that for me. Give to papa. papa. <laughs> it's not possible. It's not possible? Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, you are trying to disappoint me. Oh, let try the mama once again. You can do that. <laughs> no possible. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe the man's side they don't know how to, to take it back. <laughs> but you, this friends and family, they don't. The, 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 the best man can do that. Not possible. Oh. Not possible. <laughs> okay, Judith, we saw you pouring the water here. 
So with your own beauty and everything that you, you have, kindly pour the water back into that bottle for me. Then we are go. It's not possible? No. Okay, try the papa once again. Maybe you can do that. It's not possible. It's not possible. Oh, try our mama. Maybe, I mean, she can do it. Ain't me, because of the swan of fraternity, ain't me. Ain't me, hey, hey, hallelujah. Oh, clap for them all. Oh, put your hand together for them, praise the Lord. Okay, you may be seated, please. Eric and Judith, stand Amen. So if you give everything into the hands of God, that means it's not possible. For that reason, church, I'm standing here as an ordained pastor called to minister the Lord's way. And according to the Lord that we say, whatever, 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 whatever the Lord have joined together, let no man put a sender. Hallelujah. So now, from now on thereof, I stand here in presence of God with his holy angels, Together with my covenant partners, I respect and the whole congregation. I make this announcement. This is a married Amen. couple's a married woman. A married woman. I give Judith and Eric to you all. If you see them now, they are a married couple.